Every family in the world is unique, but sometimes families can be downright bizarre and not always in a healthy way. Think your family is weird? The following will soon change your mind on that. We take a look at the most unusual families in the world. Make sure you stay around to the end of the video and check out our number one pick because that mother and son duo will definitely inspire you. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for y'all that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. <laughs> Try it. It really works. The Chana Family Okay. Everything about the Ziona family is outsized. Just rounding up the brood for a group photo is a major undertaking. In case you're wondering, the Duggar family with their 19 kids isn't anywhere near the largest family in the world. That title goes to the Chana family. 74-year-old Ziona Chana has 39 wives, 94 children, 14 daughters-in-law, and 33 grandchildren, 180 in total and counting. Yep, you heard that right. This is not a joke. They all live under one roof in a four-story building with 100 rooms in a mountainous village in Mizoram State in India. According to locals, Ziona likes to have seven or eight wives by his side at all times. Wow, this man wastes no time. The wives would take turns cooking while his daughters clean the house and do the washing. The men do outdoor jobs like farming and taking care of livestock. The family, all 180 of them, consumes around 200 pounds of rice, more than 130 pounds of potatoes, and 39 chickens a day. Yes, a day. Now isn't that the weirdest thing you've ever heard? But we are just getting started. The families on this list will just keep getting weirder and weirder. So let's just move on. The Marshall Family Meet the Marshalls. Britain's most surgically enhanced family. Chantal Marshall and her four daughters have had a total of 13 Can you imagine? The family boasts that they already have 50,000 pounds or around $65,000 worth of silicone, and they hope to add to that number. The only female in the family with natural breasts is Brittany, who prefers to keep her natural figure and despises the thought of breast implants. Each of her four sisters and her mother got sizable breast implants immediately after turning 18, and they expect Brittany to do the same. Mother Chantal claims that Brittany is just going through a funny phase and is already encouraging her to go for an enlargement once she turns 18. Can you imagine your mother pressuring you to get plastic surgery? Hopefully Brittany stays strong and resists this weird familial obligation. Dwarf Family in the city of Hyderabad, India, lives 55-year-old Ramrod Singh Chauhan with his large, unique family. Most of his family members suffer from a genetic condition called achondroplasia, which causes short-limbed dwarfism. Ramraj currently lives with 11 family members, nine of whom have the condition. At one point, they had 21 people in their family, 18 of which were dwarfs. The family is constantly teased because of their height. On top of that, Ramraj and his family also struggle to walk properly, not to mention the fact that they are having a hard time getting jobs. Ramraj earns what he can for his family helping out at a relative's grocery store. Sometimes he works as a wedding greeter, which basically means standing at the entrance of weddings, dressed up in elaborate costumes and greeting arriving guests. Pixie Fox and Justin Jedlica Oh my god! Guys, look awesome! Oh, thank, thank you so much! 30-year-old Pixie Fox is, without a doubt, one of the most famous plastic surgery addicts in the world. The list of her plastic surgeries goes on and on. She removed six ribs, did lipo on her inner and outer thighs, changed her eye color, had eyelash implants, and she's also done her nose three times and her breast four times. All in all, Pixie did everything she could to become a real-life Barbie. All she really needed was a real-life Ken. And then she met Justin Jedlica, who is a plastic surgery legend himself. He's done the chest implants and had multiple shoulder and bicep surgeries. 
In total, he has 16 pieces of plastic in him. Together, they've undergone more than 450 cosmetic surgeries. Can you imagine? Although not romantically involved, Pixie and Justin are happy to have found one another as both of their love lives have suffered in the pursuit of their perfect bodies. Lisa Benningoff and R.O. Draven There's vampires everywhere. Vampires can be doctors, nurses, solicitors, bank managers, mechanics. If you think vampires only exist in movies, this weird couple is here to prove you wrong. This Twilight-themed couple met online and instantly felt a connection. At the time, in 2013, 20-year-old Leah Benningoff and 38-year-old Aro Draven bonded over sharing each other's blood. Yep, you heard that right. You see, Aro thinks of himself as a vampire, and Leah couldn't help but be intrigued by the thought of dating her own Edward Cullen, so she became a vampire herself. The Rapunzel Family This is something that we have been given, and we kind of don't really have a lot of control over it. Okay, look, out the window. 45-year-old Terry Lynn Svetlachik Russell is one of the women with the longest hair in the world and a rather impressive mane, measuring around a whopping six and a half feet long. She has not cut her hair in all her life, and now her three daughters, Kaylin, Sindelin, and Chesney, follow in her steps to have long manes just like their mother. Today, they have more than 13 feet of hair between them. As you can imagine, grooming can prove a mammoth task. The girls use as much as a quarter of a bottle of conditioner each time they wash their manes. Can you imagine? The family put their best assets to use, winning awards at long hair competitions in their home state of Illinois, USA. They are currently known as the Rapunzel family. Ah, aren't they charming? The Duggar family. When Dibco and got home, it was just like a family reunion. You probably thought this one was coming, didn't you? Well, a family with 19 kids is definitely not something you see every day. In fact, the Duggars are one of the largest families in America. They did, however, start under relatively standard circumstances. Father Jim Bob and Mother Michelle met through the church in rural Arkansas. They got married in 1984, but didn't have their first child until 1988. However, after the miscarriage of their second child, the family became religious fanatics. They stopped using birth control and allowed God to determine the number of children they would have. And to say God was generous would be a huge understatement, as they now have 19 children. How crazy is that? The split is pretty even, nine girls and 10 boys. It's also worth noting that every child's name starts with a J. The Duggars eventually got their own reality show on TLC called 19 Kids and Counting. Abby and Brittany Hensel. We are fourth and fifth grade math specialists. specialists. So we'll have two classes of um, math. Yeah. Um, it's part time, which is nice. So we'll be kind of transitioning into the teaching world. world. Abby and Brittany Hensel are conjoined twins that were both born in Minnesota. The twins have two sets of lungs, two hearts, one liver, and one reproductive system. But that doesn't stop them from living life like most people in their late 20s. They go on trips, they have a job, and they have fun with their friends. Abby and Brittany graduated from college and now work together as teachers. Each of them has their own teaching license, and they both have their own passport. Luckily, they only need to buy one ticket when they travel. Despite the fact that they have different personalities, Abby and Brittany came to understand each other and coordinate their movements because Abby controls the right hand and Brittany the left one, and the same thing happens with their legs. In fact, they have reached such a cooperation level that they even passed a driving test. Good job, girls. Born without arms. I'm just like the other kids. Just like them. 40-year-old Linda Bannon and her 14-year-old son, Timmy, from Chicago, have a rare genetic condition called Holt Orum that caused them to be born without arms. But despite all the difficulties that come with this condition, the mother and son duo live their lives to the full. They do everything with their feet. Timmy enjoys swimming and taekwondo, while Linda, a kindergarten teacher, is studying to become a motivational speaker. When Linda was pregnant, doctors warned her that the child could be born with her condition. She was given the option to terminate the pregnancy, but Linda and her husband never even considered it. 
Timmy suffered from severe heart problems when he was born, but despite his difficult start in life, like his mother, Timmy would not allow his disability to get in the way. Which one of these families did you find most unusual? Let me know in the comments below, and I will handpick and feature your comments in the next video. Look out for your comment.